Carthage artist Sam Butcher is known for his precious moments creations, of course, but now he's revealing another side of his creativity. KOIM photojournalist Matt Lamb today talked with him about his art. I've always been interested in contemporary art as long as I uh, uh, learned about it. And, and it happened, I think, when I was about in the eighth grade and I was reading the Times Magazine and I saw this different kind of art and I enjoyed it from the moment that I saw it. I feel that I've learned so much since I began. When I was in high school, I had an art teacher who also introduced me to the contemporary art field. And I feel that I've grown so much because I've really enjoyed doing this and I've wanted to experiment and experiment until I've learned so much like from cubistic art, non-objective painting and so forth. In almost every contemporary painting that I do, it has this power to it. And I just want the people to be able to feel that power and to enjoy the painting in that way. Butcher's collection is going to be displayed this Saturday and Sunday at the Precious Moments Convention Center in Carthage from 10 a.m. to noon and from 2 to 5. A side of his art that we've never seen before. Very few people have seen before because he just simply hasn't shared it. Not at all like his Precious Moments figurines. Oh. Hope they have a big turnout for that. Hi, my name is Mara Knight and this is my submission for the Dr. Pepper tuition giveaway. I'm a junior in college and I'm studying music education. I have a pretty unique goal with that to where I want to provide arts and music therapy for those who have suffered through trauma, especially human trafficking. I was a freshman in college when I first learned about how big of an industry human trafficking was. I was really surprised at the size of the problem and how close to home it was happening. My goal is to help those who have suffered through great injustices to heal. I know that through the worst times in my life, which is nothing compared to what these people have been through, music has been what's brought me through. And I want to provide that hope to the people who can have a better future through music. Thank you. I never really considered myself, you know, outdoors type, but uh, ever since Lucy, I've been walking pretty much every day. I thought I wanted tall, dark, handsome, and then I met Charlie, and I fell in love with Short and Harry. When you open your heart to a shelter animal, you might be surprised who you fall in love with. The Southeast Kansas Humane Society has a variety of cats and dogs that are just waiting for their soulmates. Come find your match at SEK Humane Society in Pittsburgh today. One of the things that impacted me the most, I think it was the last week that the team was all together in Jordan. We went to a refugee camp outside of Amman, the capital, and all they had was tents, and they weren't even like nice camping tents. They were like four poles and a tarp um, provided by the UN. You know, a whole family or several families at a time would be would call this one tent their home. And, you know, it was out in the middle of this desert field, sand for miles. And their, like, community square was just this circle of rocks. And that's where all the kids came. And we had just a really sh small kids' day for them. And we gave them toys and games and coloring books and sang songs with them but it really impacted me and the rest of our team just to see how little they had, but how much joy they had, how happy they could be with so little. And just, you know, I don't know that they were necessarily thinking about this, but I don't know how they couldn't be, but that's all they had in the world. And I'm sure there's just a lot of chaos where they came from and there wasn't a lot going on where they were. And um, it was just a really powerful moment to see you know, whatever I have to complain about, it's nothing like escaping your country. Ride a bike and help bring hope to Syrian refugees in Jordan. Tuesday, April 16th through Thursday, April 18th, Campus Christians will be hosting their annual Tour to Hope cycling event in the Oval on the campus of Pittsburgh State. Come join the group as they raise money for Syrian refugees in Jordan. All the proceeds from the event will go towards food, water, and other essentials for the refugees. $50 will earn your team of up to five members one 55-minute session. 
Want to test your own endurance on the bike? 30 minute individual sessions cost $5 per session. The team that rides the most miles will win a $200 prize package, while the individual with the most combined miles will win a prize package worth $50. Sessions are still available. Visit campuschristians.wordpress.com slash tour to hope to sign up. memorable moment for Miami, Oklahoma's grand and iconic Coleman Theater. The renovation of the Coleman Theater's ballroom is now complete. The theater opened in 1929 for vaudeville and film, but a space that was originally intended to be a ballroom was used for other purposes for decades. Coleman renovations began 22 years ago. KUAM photojournalist Matt Lamb gives us a look. Oh, this theater is so rich in its history. When the city received the theater back in the mid 80s, it was really in a horrible state of disrepair. But the people from Miami, they hated to see uh, talks of demolition, which, which they had uh, discussed. The city owned the building and they let a, this group of volunteers elect a board of trustees, and then they were the managers of the theater. So it was under the management of these volunteers that they uh, did all of the renovations. So the city did their part, they owned it, they kept it going by not charging themselves for utilities, so there was not an electric bill that we had to, to contend with. And they just began with black and white photographs of opening night, and uh, they had one piece of the original carpeting, and uh, they just started in. They said, we want it to look like it did, and we want it to be a working theater like it was. Some of the, the best things that I hear about or that I have been connected with are, are people who have memories from the past and come back and share them with us. And so those are, to me, some of the more important things as those people then have made an effort to see the theater come back to life because of their memories. A town uh, needs to provide to their community arts and culture, and that's what we try to provide. The addition of a new canopy with a lighted marquee marked the final stage of the ballroom restoration. The ballroom project has been six years in the making, funded through a grant and donations. 